Having a great looking YouTube banner is a smart way to bring in more subscribers and leave a good first impression when audiences view your channel. Your YouTube channel art banner should not only look great, but also reflect the style of videos that you upload. In order to maximize your channel growth, you want to make sure that you have an awesome looking YouTube banner that is sized correctly so it can be seen on all devices. Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Lucas here from Snappa, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make an awesome looking YouTube banner that covers the correct sizing and the best practices. Let's get right into it. First off, we wanna make sure that we have the best YouTube channel art size that follows the recommended requirements. YouTube recommends your banner size to be 2560 by 1440 pixels, and also the image file needs to be under six megabytes in size. Keep in mind that your design will look different on desktop, mobile, and TV devices, so it's definitely important to follow the safe zones. The central safe zone area for text and logos is 1546 by 423 pixels. This is the area of your banner that will be seen on all devices, so we recommend you keep your design elements centered for the best results. To make things easy, we're going to be using Snappa to create a customized YouTube banner in just a few minutes. Now that we're in, let's scroll down to Headers and Banners and click YouTube Channel Art. As you can see, the recommended dimensions are already there. Now that we've selected our size, we can choose to create from scratch or choose from a wide variety of free templates that Snappa offers. In this case, I'm going to choose this template right here. It's simple, clean, and easy to repurpose. Now that we have our canvas open, you'll notice that the safe zones are already set in place. We can use this toggle above to switch the safe zones on and off. Now it's time to start designing our graphic. So let's say I have a YouTube channel called Crazy Cats. I can double click the text box, type in whatever I'd like, and there's a toolbar on the left where I can make some adjustments. I'm gonna change the font to something that's a little bit more bubbly. This one should be good. And as you can see, I can also change the text color, but I'm gonna keep it white for this graphic. Next, I'm gonna increase the text size to make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to drag it over to the right side of my canvas. I'm also going to change the background image as well. So if I go to the background tab in the left corner, I can search through a whole bunch of stock images that Snappa offers. Since my YouTube channel is related to cats, I'm going to search cat fur and see what we can find. This image looks pretty good, and I'm going to toggle the safe zone button just so I can see how my full canvas looks. Now I want to add some shadow to my text to really make it pop against the background. So once again, if I click the text box, the toolbar will pop up in the left and I can make my necessary adjustments. I also want to add some body text to my canvas. So I'm going to go to the text tab in the left corner and select some body text. Next, I'm just going to type in whatever I like, change the color, readjust the size, and drag it to where I prefer. I also want to fill up the left side of our canvas. So I'm going to go to the graphics tab and search up cats in our stock images. This image looks pretty good. I'm gonna click it to add it to our canvas, but I don't really like the blue background. Luckily, Snappa's Pro subscription has a background removal tool that can get rid of your image background in just a second. Now I can resize my image and drag it around on my canvas. I'm also just gonna double check the safe zones to make sure that nothing's getting cut off. Lastly, I wanna add some finishing touches to my graphic. So if I go to the graphics tab and hit vectors, you'll see there's a whole bunch of hand-drawn vectors that I can add to my canvas. I'm going to search for something that kind of looks like whiskers. This should be perfect. So I'm going to click it and add it to my canvas, and I'm also going to change the color just so it pops against the black background. Now, I can resize and rotate my vector to make sure that it fits the canvas. I can also copy and paste the vector so I can add it to the other side of the cat's face. Perfect, now that our YouTube banner is finished, I'm going to rename it by clicking the pen icon in the top left corner. I'm going to name it Crazy Cats, and I'm also going to save my design to make sure that I don't lose any progress. Lastly, I'm going to download my design as a Retina JPEG to ensure that I get the highest quality export. Awesome, now that my banner is downloaded, we can upload it to YouTube Studio and see how the banner looks on different devices. Once you're in YouTube, click your profile picture in the top right corner, scroll down and click YouTube Studio. Next, you can navigate to the menu bar on the left and click Customization. 
From there, you're going to want to click the branding tab at the top, and then you'll see the banner image icon. And if you click upload, you'll be able to upload your custom YouTube banner. Now that I've added our custom banner, I'm just going to double check the safe zones to make sure that no design elements are getting cut off. Once everything looks good, I can click done, and then I'm going to click publish to make the banner go live on my channel. Now that my banner's live, let's see how it looks on different devices. So far, everything's looking pretty great. You can see all my design elements are centered and nothing's getting cut off. And it also looks pretty great on mobile devices as well. Well, that wraps up today's video. We hope you learned something new and remember to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest content. Also, feel free to check out our blog for some more awesome tips and ideas. See you in the next one.